Hey guys, if you're looking for a super fast video, this is the one. I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY face mask in under five minutes for about five cents. These are all no sew options. I wanna be clear, these are not N95 or surgical masks, but they're better than nothing. And this video is not a substitute for actual medical advice. I'm gonna put links down below to the CDC and all the important places you should be checking when you're making your own face mask. The first mask is made out of a cotton pillowcase. Take two simple hair ties and add to either side. And then you're going to fold each of the sides over, tucking one end inside the pocket of the other. Clean by putting in water with a rolling boil for five minutes and then laundering as normal. And don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> Researchers out of Cambridge University, I'll link below, found that cotton material filters out approximately 50% of 0.2 micron particles. This is not as good as an N95 mask, but it is way better than nothing at all. Next, I'll show you an easy option using number four and number two coffee filters if you don't have the luxury of taking your mask home to wash right away. You also need paper clips as well as rubber bands. Some nurses were sharing how to make these online, so I'll be sure to link that down below. You put the number two filter inside the number four, and then I like to fold over for a better fit the front and seal with some masking tape. I also fold along the bottom so it's gonna have a nice tight seal around your face. Use masking tape to go along the inner edge of the coffee filter. Again, this is gonna help hold it together as well as with the seal. Bend your paper clip outward, but keep the little loop so that it's not gonna poke you. Stick some masking tape on it, and you're gonna put this at the top of your mask to help shape it to your face. Understand that this is not the same surgical mask that doctors and nurses are wearing, but it does help to mitigate the spread of airborne particles to keep yourself and others safe if you have to leave the house. See that section? That's how you know it's well adhered. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and please share it. Remember, the best thing that you can do is to stay inside to stay safe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.